Hey, Selfish fans, right here at the Rubin Arena where Paul Beach Atlantic University's women's team came out fighting here today and ended up picking up a victory 66-60 over Nova Southeastern University. They dropped the Sharks to 12-3 and on the season and the fish improved to 5-14. and Here with head coach Carlos Blasio, Janelle Cannon, and Kimmy McIntosh. Coach, first off, your thoughts on this win? Great win, great team win. We talked about this for a long time, beating Nova. We were close last year, just couldn't get over that hump. And uh, it's the first time this year that we played 40 minutes and finished the game out. And you, you had some weapon. You started with quick triggers. You had that open shot. You took it here tonight. Was that the strategy all along? Absolutely. We had come into the game. We've been kind of playing a half-court game. It hasn't been working for us on eight-game losing streaks. We came in tonight and said, just play loose, get the first shot you can get, early offense, and it, and it worked out for us. One of your players that did pretty well out there, Janelle Cannon. Janelle's here with us. Janelle, you had some good looks at the basket. Not always did you have a hand in your face, and you knocked down what you were able to, but if somebody did step up, you passed it off to the open man. Tell us a little bit about your thought process. I mean, I'm in, I'm in a shooting slump, so I'm trying to get up shots to get my game going, but if my teammate is open, I'm always willing to pass and just create the best shot, and it worked tonight, and I'm thankful for that one. And one of your teammates to try to get the basketball to you, Kimmy McIntosh, returning from an injury. Kimmy, how good did it feel to get out there tonight, back on the court, but also pick up this victory in front of the home crowd? Uh, it feels good. We've been on an A-game losing streak, so just to get that win, especially against a Nova we've never beat before, it feels good. We're going to celebrate it, so just happy we won. Congratulations, ladies. I'm going to speak a little more with your coach, Coach Palacio, who come out in here. Just a great job of overall teamwork tonight. I, I don't think we've seen this team gel as well as they did here tonight. Right. This is only our third game this season where we've had the whole team together, and it's still a lot of new kids, a lot of new players, and we're just learning to, to play each other and hoping this is a momentum builder moving forward for us. A lot of energy on the court, but also on the sidelines. You went without the tie here today, and you, I think you loosened up a little bit, and the results seemed to be pretty good. So 66-60, to 60, the victory. You guys played extremely well. Congratulations, Coach. Thanks, Chris. Appreciate it. Game number two in the book, Sailfish come out victorious by a score of 62-60 to 60 over the Nova Southeastern University Sharks. I'm here with Evan Graham. Evan, great game, 21 points. Good t overall team play here tonight. Your thoughts? Uh, we just came out and executed the uh, game plan well. We played as a team, and we just wanted to get back in the win column. To go against Nova Southeastern, very good perimeter shooting team. You guys got up in their face, shot pretty well yourself. So you, you yourself, personally, 9 of 16, but you also had four assists. You were able to find the open man and pass up some of those shots for yourself. Yeah, um, I knew where I was going to get my shots from, and I knew where I was going to get my team involved. We knew they were going to play zone, so we practiced hard, hard every day. And we knew where we were going to get our shots. We just had to make them. There's a couple times, too, where you passed up the perimeter shot, were able to duck down, drop that shoulder, got some contact inside. How physical was it in the key here tonight? It was very physical. I mean, after I started making a couple of shots, it started coming out, so I had to adjust and go in a little bit. But, I mean, other than that, I learned to use my body well and just get in the lane and make good shots tonight. Well, you guys break the losing streak. You do it right here at home at Jam the Gym in front of a tremendous crowd. How good does that feel? It feels excellent, man. The, the Jam the Gym was a great success, and we just want to keep winning for our fans. Well, we appreciate and congratulations here tonight. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Fish fans, we're here with head coach David Balls. And coach, first off, congratulations again back on the winning track. You do it here at home here tonight against Nova Southeastern. Thanks. Uh, you know, I give a big credit to our fish tank over there, our student section, and, and our SAC committee for putting together the Jam the Gym night. Cause the crowd certainly helped. You know, they were loud. I know they were. They they felt like the other team felt like they couldn't you know, get stuff, get plays into their team very well. That's a big deal. You know, we're seeing that in the NFL. In the playoff games, and here we got to see it in our home court, so it was nice. I felt that that six man over there helped us win those last two points. Well, you and I have chatted a few times after ball game, especially the first five games of the season. Went out a bit of a skid. Your team goes out there, didn't play like a team that lost the past few, you know, nine games. They came out here with just an entirely different attitude. Well, I, you know, I don't feel like we've been in a slump in terms of how we've played. I feel like we've been in a slump from a win-loss standpoint. I mean, this is our eighth or ninth game now where it's been down to the last two possessions, and we've won four of them and lost four of them. So, you know, the, the difference is we were winning the ones earlier, not winning the ones now. I don't know that it's necessarily a difference in terms of how hard they're going and what they're doing preparation-wise. Just teams are making shots, and we're not at the end. And tonight we made shots, and they didn't at the end. Yeah, it did get a little close towards the end again, but this time it did fall the sailfish way, and I mean, I'm sure the crowd was a huge impact in it as well. Any adjustments you made down the stretch? I mean, several things at the end. I, we weren't making free throws, which was a problem, but we, you know, we, we fouled the last three possessions maybe when we were up three 
to put them at the free throw line just because they are such a good three-point shooting team. I mean, they lead the league in three-point shooting, and we didn't want them to come down and hit a three to send it to overtime. We want them to have to go to the free throw line, make the first, miss the second, get the rebound, and then get a shot off. And that's a lot harder to do for a team that doesn't practice that a lot than a team that makes threes all day, night long, every night. Well, you now improved the 69 out of the season. What steps moving forward as we look ahead on the selfish schedule? Well, I, I think one thing that has changed a little bit is our rotation. Uh, you know, Nigel's in the starting lineup right now. Uh, and we really haven't found a lot of difference in our wings. We've got some wings playing better on some nights, some others, uh, other nights. You know, Dakota Zinzer's been very good for us of late. Derek Yepis, who started off strong, struggled, but then comes back and hits big shots tonight for us. Mike Simpson's played well. So I think we're still kind of feeling out that depth, but that's a good problem because we're going to lose a lot of seniors next year, so we need some of those guys to play minutes, so they're getting that opportunity here right now midseason. Well, they're getting the experience. they got the experience of winning, losing as well, and then bouncing back like they did here tonight. Victorious 62-60 to is Palm Beach Atlantic over Nova Southeastern University. Coach, congratulations. Hey, thanks a bunch. And Sailfish fans, be sure to check out pbasailfish.com for anything and everything that is Sailfish Athletics.